Uh, greetings, Sharyan, and uh, uh, it's our pleasure having you here, and uh, especially very welcome, warm welcome to India, especially to the state of Odisha. How do you uh, see this league? Uh, you know the, the concept uh, behind this league. Uh, you people, after getting retired and again coming back to cricket, playing uh, competitive cricket, how do you uh, see it uh, as a, as a player? Well, it's a pleasure to be here uh, back in India. Thank you very much. Um, I think it's for retired cricketers to play IPL franchise for players that are retired is amazing. To have the opportunity to play with and against old enemies and um, teammates. Um, the franchise cricket is, is amazing. So to have the opportunity to be in India where the fans and everyone is so passionate about cricket. And I think the cricket that we're playing, you know, the boys are training very hard. Um, we're practicing, um, we want to put on a show for the fans and I, hopefully I think this will grow and grow and grow because you've got some very big superstar players playing in each team so I'm just delighted to be here and I'm enjoying playing for Manipal Tigers and all the games have been so close, been so nerve wracking, not good for the heart anyway that is for sure. Uh, last, uh, la last night we witnessed uh, another one like that. It was an nail biter, uh, but uh, when it comes to intensity, when you uh, going back to your playing days, uh, the intensity you had uh, on the field and uh, people uh, playing international cricket, the kind of intensity uh, they possess. Uh, do you feel the same intensity you carry uh, to this kind of leagues and players like you? Do those are retired, they carry the, the, those kind of intensity even now. Also. Uh, of course, we we desperately want to put on a show. Um, for all the fans that are watching at home. Uh, of course, the body, it doesn't relate to the mind. The mind thinks it can still do the thing. I'm coming back to the body part. <laughs> how but is the it? body obviously doesn't respond how it used to. But I think what it is, we are retired, but we want to do well and put on a show for everyone. And we want this um, franchise and Legends League to grow and be bigger and better each and every year. And I think it will be. I think you've seen the games and the players that are playing. It's been so exciting. I mean, three of our games have gone down to the last over, which has been nerve wracking, uh, but it's been great to watch and it's been very good spectacle. So, yeah, of course, we want to give our best. We want to go out there and try our best and give absolutely everything. And um, hopefully the body will stay in shape um, long enough to play enough games um, before the end. I ask simply because, uh, you know, uh, you have no point to prove uh, anyway uh, because uh, your playing days when you play international cricket you have many points to prove and many points to, uh, many many things to achieve but right now you are just enjoying your game uh, coming back to the competitive cricket that's why i asked because there is no point to prove how you manage how you how you prepare yourself before uh, a match how you uh, strategize how you uh, you know uh, practice and uh, prepare yourself yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't practice with the same intensity. Um, in terms of having a point to prove, probably not. You know, all the players have been there and done it and worn the T-shirt. I think it's just about having that um, self-respect and, and try and conduct yourself as professionally as possible and just go out there and try your best. Um, what will be, will be. I think people... I was speaking to Matai Mullerithra and he was saying, People just want to see the battles of old. People turn up to see him bowl or see myself bowl or um, see Harbhajan play. Um, and there's not that huge expectation as much. You know, there's probably expectation a little bit lower. But what I will say for all the players, we want to go out there and try our utmost and just enjoy and play with smiles on our faces. When the first time uh, pick up the ball and went to bowl in this uh, league, uh, what was the feeling like? Well, uh, especially, uh, you know, the crowd around and again on the competitive cricket. Uh, what was the feeling like? Yeah, an amazing feeling to be sort of back playing competitively in a franchise um, situation for the legends with a team and a team owner. Um, yeah, you kind of still, the nerves are still there, the butterflies are still there. Um, but I suppose when you're out there, you, you just want to go out there and uh, enjoy and give your utmost for the team. And, and what will be, will be. But you want to, you know, try and take wickets and entertain the fans. Uh, 
uh, do you uh, miss your playing days uh, or this kind of leagues has provided you ample opportunity to come out there and express yourself uh, even after you know hanging your shoes uh, do you feel that uh, this uh, this this uh, league has provided you that opportunity to not miss the international arena or playing for england yeah i don't miss playing now I, you know i had a long career um, the knees will, will vouch for that um, but I think, you know, to, to get the opportunity to come and play in a Legends League with some of the greatest players that have graced the game is an honour and very humbling. So to be here once again, touring India, um, seeing all the fans, again, what I will say, the Indian fans, they just love the cricket. Uh, and that's what we want to do. We just want to uh, put it out there to all the fans in India to watch, for Indian fans to watch their idols or heroes that are back playing once again so yeah it's just been so enjoyable uh, and again long may it continue uh, what do you feel uh, looking at the kind of response this league uh, had previously and having right now what is the future of this kind of leagues uh, especially the legends league cricket uh, what is the future you, you feel i think the future for legend league is very bright um, you look at the type of cricket the players that are playing um, it's franchise, we want to entertain, um, it's been very enjoyable and I think it'll grow and grow. You look at the viewing figures, they've been huge, haven't they? You know, lots and lots of people, it's on Star Sports, I mean, you don't get much bigger than that in this country, do you? So it's been great for the players to have that exposure again and go out there and, and try the best and also relive memories that when you were an actual player and playing professional. Uh, how do you see, um, uh, as a, as a uh, former English player, T20 cricket especially because uh, the way uh, it has evolved and uh, the way people, uh, you know, uh, they have started uh, following T20 cricket all over the world. Uh, how do you see T20 cricket and especially uh, the leagues like Legends League cricket? I think it is because of T20 cricket, uh, you people are getting enough opportunity even after retirement to play competitive cricket again. So how do you see it? It's growing and growing and I think that you look around the world now with all with IPLs and Big Bash and the amount of leagues around the world and how many players are, are playing in it, how entertaining it is. You know, we've got a World Cup um, coming up very, very soon in Australia. And I think for the ex-players, retired players, it's an opportunity to, uh, again, relive those memories, earn, earn some money and be around teammates and ex-teammates and and, and to have the opportunity to do that once again. I've spoken to all the players and they're all absolutely delighted to be here. They all want to do well, um, they all want to put on a show and, and, and just enjoy back playing competitive cricket. So do you feel it's a threat to test cricket, the kind of uh, you know, publicity and uh, fan following T20 is having right now? Is it a threat? Yeah, it's having a huge impact on, on the game around the world. Um, you look at the Associate Nations, Europe, there's Europe, European cricket, T20 leagues now. It's growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year. So um, I think this Legends League will grow and grow and become, there'll be more teams, more games, more entertainment. So look out. Well, the World Cup is coming up down on, you know, which team uh, you feel uh, uh, has the chance to win this time? and why so we'd like to know uh, your thoughts on that well i've not have i got to say india because i'm in india or not, will i get into trouble if i don't um no. i think what the bowling is not clicking right now indian bowling is not clicking. it's, it's so. not it's not but you know come world cups india are very strong um i think your x-factor players in pandya and bumra have to contribute regular call is coming back into form but I'm excited by this World Cup because so many teams are in form. Sri Lanka have just won the Asia Cup. Um, Afghanistan have been playing some really good cricket. England and Pakistan has been such an amazing, entertaining. There's been lots of ebbs and flows. Even though the, uh, there are still, uh, you know, a couple of uh, key, key, uh, key players missing uh, yeah, within uh, so England, they're playing with. If I'm going to go on a team, not being biased, but I think England look very, very strong. If Mark Wood can stay fit, I think um, they'll have a chance of winning the World Cup. But so many teams um, are in form at the moment. Yeah, Australia. Um, you look at New Zealand, always turn up for, for World Cups. 
and when they you know they always punch above the weight so I think it's going to be a really really fascinating and, and cracking World Cup. The people like Joss Butler, people like uh, Surya Kumar Yadav, people like uh, uh, Kel Rahul, uh, you know, the kind of sorts they are playing, you know, 360 uh, degree kind of sorts. Uh, how do you, oh, you feel, uh, you, you know, you, you, you uh, played for England, uh, but for a fast bowler, how do you see, uh, you know, the preparation? Because uh, right now people are playing uh, 360 degree after A.V. De Villiers, those kind of scoops and sorts like the, uh, those. Uh, how do you see a young bowler preparing uh, before? The, before? Uh, of course, I mean, bowlers, yes, batters now can hit 360 and, and they're so strong. Um, the way they hit the ball, they hit the ball so hard. Um, evolution, batters have got better and better and stronger and stronger. And I think the bowler's skills have become better. What I would like to see is the white ball swing a little bit more early on just to challenge the batters and challenge the techniques and then you have a little bit more bat versus ball but I mean wow some of the players now in world cricket you know Surrey Kumar is unbelievable to watch I mean we watched him the other night and some of the shots are just outrageously good he's a proper entertainer thank you Ram thank you for your time Pleasure. and thank, thank you, you uh, for the conversation